the SR-20 is the, the best aircraft on the market right now because of the, the fact that we've increased the capability of the, uh, the wing design. We've lightened the, uh, the, the wing spar itself to a carbon fiber material, thus allowing us to increase the useful load of the aircraft. So it delivers more performance than has ever been available in the 200 horsepower um, SR-20. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. People, as they walk up to a third generation SR20, will notice that it looks like a much bigger airplane. In fact, it even looks bigger than, than the G222 does. Uh, reason being, it's got an a increased dihedral to the wing by one degree. Um, it sits about two inches higher off the ground, increasing your prop clearance and your tail clearance for those unimproved runway conditions and uh, increased prop clearance and tail clearance for flight training type environments um, and just pilot uh, inabilities and capabilities. Flying the SR-20 G3, the pilot will notice that there's a, a much lighter control feel to the actual flying and handling characteristics. The reason for that is we've eliminated the uh, necessity for the rudder aileron interconnect by increasing the wing dihedral by one degree. So it gives a much more light control pressure for the, the pilot that's, uh, that's an SR-20 uh, pilot. The SR-20 has increased climb performance due to an uh, improved wing route fairing, <laughs> thus al allowing for us to climb at about 1,000 feet per minute uh, fully loaded up to uh, your cruise altitude of 8,000 feet. Uh, you'll be cruising about 155 knots at that altitude, burning about 12 gallons an hour for best power. Uh, the range of the SR-20 G3 is 785 miles. Um, I personally was able to fly from Duluth, Minnesota to Frederick, Maryland nonstop, one tank of gas, four hours, 18 minutes, which was 825 miles. So I had good wins that day. Some of the changes that are maybe unnoticeable in the SR-20 to the, to the untrained eye are going to be the things that are inside of the wing itself. We've changed the, uh, the, the composite uh, wing spar to a carbon fiber wing spar. And we've rearranged a lot of where the ribs and, uh, and inner structures of the wing are located at. Um, the actual wing is about three feet wider than its predecessor, um, so it has a, a much greater ramp presence than, uh, than the G2 wing. Interior in improvements from the bezels, um, so you're able to, to have a nice smooth transition from the, the switches into the avionics. Um, the, the backlighting of the switches allows for easier uh, visibility at nighttime. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. The third generation SR20 comes standard with WAS uh, capabilities. Uh, it allows you to shoot a, instrument, a full instrument uh, precision approach down to minimums of about 200 feet, much like you would a, with an ILS approach. Okay, with revision 7 of the Avidine software, we have added the uh, oil temperature gauge onto our primary flight display, which is something that our, uh, our customers have been asking for since we eliminated the steam engine instruments uh, a long time ago. Third generation avionics is going to give you the capability to, to fly IFR anywhere in the United States and, and have the ability to download all your XM weather um, real time into the cockpit. So you're going to be able to, to execute the, the GPS approach, WAS fully capable, looking at your CMAX approach charts which will be on your multifunction display, all Jefferson uh, approach charts and you'll be able to, uh, to get the weather downloaded right onto that uh, multifunction display. So integration all into to the 
two panels making it very simple to to fly single pilot operations. This is the third generation SR-20 that we're reintroducing the aircraft that revolutionized the general aviation industry, um, bringing in all the, the improvements that we've made to the SR-22 and brought them into the 20, making it a fully capable IFR airplane for the entry-level owner all the way up through um, the ATP pilot.